Hello friends, this is Dikir Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So, in this video, I am going to talk about routing in ASP.NET MVC. Okay, so how it works and what is ASP.NET MVC routing. So, let's understand. It is a pattern matching system. So, routing is the process through which the application matches an incoming URL path and executes the corresponding action methods okay or in simple way we can say asp.net mvc routing is a pattern matching system that is responsible for mapping incoming browser request to specified mvc controller actions okay so without wasting our time i just going to move my visual studio okay so i have created one mvc application here so here in the global.asax file you will find this so when mvc or asp.net mvc application launch the application underscore start folder or sorry application underscore start method is called okay so as you can see there are four method okay so i am not going to talk about these two okay so there is one route config dot router register routes okay this is the one function as you know that so here in the route.config file so this is the route.config file you will find this method so this method is responsible to call this function okay or method so what is this function do okay so register routes method is responsible to create the route table okay so as you can see here in the register route table so here it is responsible to create the uh, route table okay so as you can see this is the default route for mvc application so this is the name of that route and this is the url pattern okay so in the defined route so how we can define route so this is the route config file okay in that we are having a function or method so in this method we are we are going to define the route okay so this is the default route and this is the default uh, url or we can say uri okay so like that we can create default route okay so actually this route is already defined with the mvc application when you create an mvc application this will you find automatically okay so this is the default route as you can see this is the route name okay name is the route okay and this is the url so we can say url with parameters okay so like controller this is the uh, controller name and action name and id so as you can see default so we can see controller here the default route is home home controller inside the home controller it it will call the action method okay and id is optional as you can see the url parameter dot optional so this is the parameter is default so when i will run my application okay so automatically this will call the default home controller inside this home controller you will find one index method and index method you will see there is some title home page and asp on it okay so when i will run you will get this message okay let check this so i'm just going to check this as you can see the uh, default url okay so this is the default url if you will remove this then you will find out this same page only okay so now i am just going to change something like routing test in asv.net mvc okay so i'm just going to change it if you will now re refresh it you can see the same page and this message will be changed okay i'm just going to now you can see so my default route is home and index method okay so i just want to tell you i'm just going to add one controller here like a student controller so like add controller i'm just going to add one 
empty controller and give it the name as student okay so this is the default index method so i need to create this index okay design the index ui so i'm just giving this so like uh, student index okay so if i will define this route as a student like i will say student and index method so it will call the index action inside the student controller okay so now just i am going to run it now you can see the ui so the def default will be the student index will be display here okay because i have changed the route in the route dot config file so you can see student index is called okay so like that we can define our route in asp.net mvc so this is all about the routing in asp.net mvc okay so one question comes into your mind is asp.net mvc and web api routing is the same so answer is no because web api uses the http verse but asp.net mvc application uses uri path so this is the uri path so the next question is can we define multiple routes in asp.net mvc answer is yes how we can define like this we can define multiple route in mvc application so this is the default route and we can define another route in the mvc application okay so i'm just going to open my visual studio so like that we can define multiple route in asp.net mvc okay so this will be the default and this will be called if i will run this application okay so like that we can define multiple route in a single mvc application okay so i'm just going to comment it or remove it so actually i am not going to use this okay so i just want to tell you that we can or we can define multiple route now the next question is types of routing so routing in mvc there are actually basically two types so what are they so first one is convention based routing and second one is attribute based routing so i have talked about this all about the convention based routing so now i am going to talk about the attribute based routing so asp.net mvc5 or later version suppose a new type of routing called attribute routing as name implies attribute routing uses attributes to define routes attribute routing gives you more control over the uris in your web application okay so let's suppose my application is running okay so default route is home and action index method okay so what i will say like uh, this is the home is the controller index is the method so like that we can call that index so we can call this like that okay so by using the uh, attribute based routing we can define the attribute uh, like action label okay so like this this is the route we can define in on to the top of the action method okay so, so this these all are the action method okay so we can define route okay so this is called the routing attribute based routing okay so it is not actually basically uh, already enabled so we have to enable this okay so how we can enable this routing so to enable this we have to go to the route.config file and we have to use this route.mvc map mvc attribute routes so we have to call this function so this will enable attribute based routing for us okay so by using this map mvc attribute route we can enable routing attribute routing okay so this is all about the routing if you have any question you can ask me through comment I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. Guys, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. You can follow me on my Facebook page. This is the blog URL. So I will provide you both of the link in the description of this video. Thank you guys.